me tell you so. Mm -hmm. All down. Get it, get it, Larry. Get it. You're gonna be in the video. <laughs> That's my friend Larry. I remember. Yeah. Feeling good. <clears throat> Me and Larry are gonna talk about making recalcitrant hardware work today. Uh, also known as why doesn't my wireless work? Now my wireless works. Yours may not. Let's fix it. So I have a ThinkPad P51 which looks suspiciously like a P50 and a P52, but they're very similar to each other. But out of the box, uh, Wi-Fi does not work on Linux OS. Uh, the Linux kernel, when it boots, is capable of taking a file off a disk that is a firmware image and uploading it to a device so that it actually works. Um, if this isn't done for some, some hardware, even though there might be a driver in the kernel to support the hardware, uh, it will not work. So and this is the case for at least this, this P51 Wi-Fi stuff. So uh, let's take a look at uh, this drop-down thing. Now, this is KDE, and KDE, uh, if our wireless was working, it would show us a list of, of SSIDs here that we could connect to. But the only thing that's actually working is a wired connection, uh, which I have my, my Ethernet plugged into. And if you go and you, you spend enough time digging in, in the logs of your machine, this is one way to do it. Um, let's see, firmware. Search for firmware. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, 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 uh-oh. Firmware not work. Larry's firmware not working. Uh, okay, so so this is something. This is like what you'd see if your if your if your Wi-Fi isn't working for this particular. This is an Intel wireless card. Let's see what kind of card it is. If I do LS, LS what LS PCI is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Okay, it's the wireless eighty two sixty five or eighty two seventy five. Rev 78 LSPCI is your friend. So the IL, IWL Wi Fi uh, uh, driver is what makes that device go. And you tell here that it says no suitable firmware found. Oh, oh no. Oh, we're in trouble. We can make it work. Now, so what what's what's going on here? Uh, we 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 have a we have a kernel driver. Well, why why is why is this problem? What's 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 the problem here? Well, why do things always suck? Well, it's politics. So in order to get your hardware working, you need to flip a political switch inside of the software and inside of the Nix configuration. So there is a setting called Hardware Enable All Firmware. Uh, there's actually two settings which which we'll look at. So there's hardware enable all firmware. Turn this option on if you want to enable all the firmware. <laughs> that is some succinct documentation. Uh, and there's also this, this other one called hardware enable re redistributable firmware, which is will it enable a subset of firmware that is deemed legally redistributable. So um, in our case, I'm not sure where it downloads the stuff from when you do enable all firmware, but it does. It gets it. It goes and grabs it. Um, often, when you first install your system, if you include almost anything, especially anything from the from the NixOS hardware repository, um, you'll have this flag already set. This enable redistributed firmware. Unfortunately, that is not enough to make Wi-Fi work for me, uh, because the firmware that is for the Intel wireless card is not redistributable. So, thus, set the flag. Now, I'm going to do this in a kind of a strange way because I have this sort of shared checked-in configuration. Uh, you would, you know, you would probably just have to do hardware somewhere, anywhere in your configuration at all, really. Um, but maybe in your Etsy 
NixOS hard uh, Etsy slash NixOS slash hardware dash configuration dot com. That seems like a reasonable place to put it in a in a default install. Uh, you would just type enable all firmware. It will true something like that. Um, I'm I'm I have kind of a special setup here, so uh, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> and so now now that I've done that, I'm going to Linux, and that's all that's doing. That is an alias that I have to do NixOS rebuild for me with my special configuration. And so I suspect when you, the first time that anybody else but me runs this, you will see a bunch of derivations being built because it goes and downloads all the firmware, but I've already done it before, so we don't see that. I flip that switch. In order for that to take effect, I have to reboot the kernel. Now, technically, I don't have to. I could I could do something like mod probe, IWL, Wi-Fi, something like that. And um, that might make it work, but I'm going to reboot because I'm not that smart. I don't know how to do that reliably. So I'm going to stop recording. I'll be right back. I am rebooted into a environment where I flip that switch. And now, if I go down to my little wireless Google, or my little networking Google, I can see the list of wireless access points. Imagine that. So now, if also if I do journal control uh, K, firmware, search for firmware in here, uh, you can see that we have one line now that is talking about IWL Wi-Fi. Oh, and it loaded it. So... Those error messages are gone. Uh, I think also that uh, this particular laptop, the Bluetooth, I think the Bluetooth uh, stuff requires this firmware too. Not entirely sure about that, but I, th I think that's true. Um, and so I may have had other stuff in there that wasn't working as a result of not having all firmware enabled, but I I didn't notice. I can You can get a long way without needing this stuff. I, I actually was using these machines, the machines that I've been making these videos on for, I don't know, three weeks, something like that. And that's where my wireless microphone's battery died. Uh, I think where I left off was saying you can get a long way with, without having to enable all firmware or enable redistributable for firmware or any firmware or not think about firmware. It'd be firmware free, but uh, only so far. So. Um, I have a pull request in to the, there are a couple pull requests into the NixOS hardware repository. I'm not sure about the, the politics of, of enabling all firmware in a, in a profile on the NixOS hardware repository. Um, maybe it's not, it's not just politics. I guess it's legality too, but, uh, but. I've submitted pull requests that that just enable that flag if you have a well, I put a couple of profiles in for P50, P51, P52 that uh, if you include them will enable all firmware so your Wi-Fi works. But we'll see what happens with that. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have a good one.